Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. It's been almost a week since I've painted. I've been very busy. It was my father-in-law's 95th birthday. What an energizer bunny he is. He still lives alone, drives. He is such an inspiration. I mean, just, it, it's incredible. He's an amazing man. And I had, um, since I wasn't here for Mother's Day, my mom and I just celebrated Mother's Day today. She's a wonderful mom, so thankful for her. Um, but we had a really good time, went to lunch, so it was a great time. But I am glad to be back in here painting. Um, I'm going to be doing a ring pour today using a split base. I've got black, just regular black here, put that right there. And then I'm going to be using some copper. And I'm going to put both those colors down before I do the ring pour. So this copper um, does have a little bit of brown in it. I wanted to deepen it up just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it should be really pretty. Then I'm gonna be using white. This white right here is aquamarine from Folk Art. And then I added a little bit of turquoise by Golden. So, just made it a little bit richer. This is a little bit lighter, and then that turquoise just made it a little bit deeper color. This color right here is new. I've been making this color out of multitude of colors, um, but I found it, and I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a try. It's Black Cherry by Modern Masters, and I think it's an absolutely beautiful color, really rich. Um, I, I'm, first time I've used it, so I'm really excited about that. And then I'm using 24 karat gold, and I did add a little bit of iridescent gold by Golden in here. All right, let me move those aside. Let me go ahead, and I'm going to flood my base, which I normally, or not always, do for a ring pour. I'll do the ring pour right on the canvas, but I think I'm going to do it a little differently this time. So I'm going to add black here. Go ahead and Oops, stretch that out of the canvas. Just part of it. There we go. Just trying something a little different. Instead of starting straight on the canvas with the ring pour. Make sure I got all that in corners. There we go. And I'm gonna add the copper right in the middle. Copper. And I went ahead and I pushed the black off so that there wasn't a whole lot of paint and it wouldn't just push all my copper off the canvas. There we go. And I'm going to add black down here too. So I'm going to do the same thing with this copper that I just did with the black. All right. Go over a little bit. Just trying to me a nice band of copper in the middle. Come back and go this way. I'm getting a lot of it off. Come over. There we go. And come back a little bit more. And then I'm gonna make the rest of this copper, I mean black. If I were to do this all at once, it would pretty much probably eat up the copper because I'd have to push everything so far to cover the canvas. So if I get most of the paint off the black, most of the paint off with the copper, and then come back with the black again, it helps distribute the paint and, whoops, and leaves the colors in the middle. There we go. Now this is just from my experience. That doesn't mean you have to do it this way. I'm gonna push the rest of that off. Okay. And this way. Got a little bit of camera showing there. And back this way. I'm just trying to get most of that paint off. go. Okay. Definitely need to pop. I've got lots of air bubbles. Just making sure I've got everything covered. There's some 
there and I've got a little black. Okay. Bring this copper on down. There we go. All right. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles with my torch here. Got lots of bubbles. I just made this paint. Like I said, I haven't painted in almost about a week. Okay, I'm gonna layer the colors in my cup, starting with the white. I'll do it right here so you can see it. This turquoise mixed with the phthalo. This beautiful black cherry color, excited to use it. And gold. And I'm just gonna repeat that. Too much paint in my cup, but that's a okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come down this way first and get rid of some of the paint. And then we're gonna come back. Super cool. Go that way a little bit. Come this way a little bit. That's really cool. I think what I wanna do, I've seen Kathleen with Cause Creations do this. And I think on the edges here, I'm gonna swipe right here and right here. So I'm gonna dip this in my black. I've got some wet paper towels. Let's see. And I'm just gonna come right here, right on this edge. And swipe. There we go. Getting some cell reaction. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just a little bit. Just add some little interest on the edges. And I'm gonna go this way. No, I'm gonna go this way. So I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Oops. I say I'm having to concentrate. <laughs> this piece is too big. Let me get a smaller piece. A smaller piece, dip it in my black, just the same as the base coat. Okay, just dipping it in there just to get it black all over it. Okay, there we go. Just put it on the edge, just gonna pull it over that. There we go. I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm wondering if I don't need to go in the middle a little bit right here where that gold band is. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to. Now, if y'all haven't seen Kathleen with Cause Creations, she is so good at the swiping. I wanted to go to the workshop that they had this past weekend, but I was bit very busy, as, as I told you earlier. Oops, go right through here. There we go. 
so. There we go. Cool. Tilt it again. Just a little bit. And back. Gorgeous. Now come back one more time. I think that's really pretty. Come back through this right here. And now I think I'm gonna go the other direction. Yeah, I'll go the other direction with this. Lock on it. rest of those air bubbles. Now that's a really interesting piece. It is so pretty. Gorgeous. I love the teal and white. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here's the overall piece. Very pretty. Beautiful colors. Of course, you can see the shimmer. There's some cells that came up. Really interesting. It's got the cells, some bigger cells, the lines, the rings. It's just gorgeous. Really pretty. Straight, perfect lines. There's some cells down here. It's really just an interesting piece. Okay, my lights are now out, and you can definitely see there is going to be shimmer throughout this entire piece. I absolutely love those lines. They are so straight. I mean, that is, it's beautiful. You can definitely see that black cherry coming through. You cannot go wrong with white with a turquoise type blue. It's just pretty. It's a super interesting piece, very unique. I think it's pretty. This is really pretty right here, that area. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.